culture in athletics, and that culture says that you win at all costs. I've betrayed my relationship in that family. Jan Gengelhoff blew the whistle on a school scandal that is now rocking the University of Minnesota. I never intended to harm anyone. Gengelhoff, who worked as an office manager in the academic counseling department, claims that for more than five years, she wrote over 400 term papers, midterms, and even final exams for the pride of UM, the Golden Gopher players. At first she did it because she thought she was helping, but Gengelhoff says soon she was encouraged to do it by the coaches of the team that generates millions of dollars for the school. From ticket sales to merchandise to TV money, Gengelhoff showed me essays and papers she says prove her claim. Well, you wrote a story about basketball for a basketball player. Yes, I did. Her average workload being the ghostwriter for an amazing five players per term. I'm a night person, and so I was up till 2, 3 o'clock in the morning anyway. And so that's when I did a lot of the work. Just how important is your star player's term paper? Well, if he doesn't turn one in and fails out of classes before the start of the college basketball tournament, the school stands to lose an awful lot of money. Coaches and administrators can lose their jobs. And keeping kids eligible is what it takes to win. Gengelhoff says there was pressure from coaches to avoid making the papers too good, so she wouldn't arouse suspicions. But that didn't always work. At some point, Jan, you had to know that what you were doing was not right. Absolutely, I accept responsibility for what I did. And that's part of why I'm coming forward now. Gengelhoff's secret was exposed when a reporter from Minnesota's Pioneer Press, acting on a tip, cornered her. She'd already left the school and decided to come clean. But no one at the school now is ready to share the blame, especially not head coach Clem Haskins. He, like, ruled through fear and intimidation. Gengelhoff considers Haskins the head intimidator in an old boys network at U of M, and so does Elaine Donahue. I see that the graduation rate right here is the worst in the Big Ten. That is correct. For 15 years, she was director of the academic counseling department at Minnesota. Donahue says in 1997, she became aware someone was doing the players' work for them. She didn't know it was someone in her own department, but she brought it to the attention of a university vice president, pleading with him to put a stop to it. He said, the president and I have decided to do nothing, and you are to start getting along with Clem Haskins. Do you understand what I'm saying? Donahue understood, but couldn't leave it alone, and last year she quit after she says Coach Haskins shared his method of preventing a player from failing. Bribe the professor like this. I invited him to practice. I gave him some tickets for the game. You see, Elaine, that's how it's done. Well, he never, the student athlete was sitting there listening to this, of course. He also thought that's the way it was done. Who is the biggest loser in all of this? All oh, the student athletes. Too many of them were given an easy way out and they took, they took it. And they were really taught to mock higher education. Both the university and the NCAA are investigating. Clem Haskins is still the coach. As for the players, a few have gone on to the NBA without degrees. Others have dropped out of school. Some are still enrolled. Jan hopes her admission will keep future players from losing something far more important than a basketball game. If there aren't some changes that take place in that program, I, I would be very, very disappointed.